What's up guys, so I'm at a boat yard in Marathon, Florida and right next to the truck is another boat that I'm gonna be touring. Now I apologize that Randy's not with me today. She had to go back to work, school's back in session, so she's working full time again. Now the boat I'm gonna be touring today, I'm actually familiar with already because it's a friend's boat, but nevertheless, let's go take a look. It's a pretty cool boat. This is our boat now. Oh my God. <laughs> Now, I just gave you a nice pan of the other side of the hull, but I just wanted to take a look at this side as well. Notice it is a fin keel and a spade rudder. But overall, new bottom job looks pretty good. So let's head on up this sketchy ladder. Let's take a look at the deck. So first thing to notice is these solar panels right here. So there's 300 watts of solar on the back. You've got dinghy davits, all stainless. There's actually a lifting hoist right here to help you get yourself or something in and out of the water as well. Got a pretty good size aft compartment there. Propane lockers, but this boat is actually a CNG boat. So there's nothing in them except some water. Let's take a look at the helm. Now one thing on this boat that makes me really jealous is this right here. The CPT Autopilot. It's a really good system. It's kind of old school technology, but they still sell them brand new and they work really well. We've got some very large jib sheet winches going forward. This boat has all new electronics because it was struck by lightning and you know, all the electronics were fried, so my buddy had to replace them all. He's got the canvas off right now, but it does have a Bimini and a Dodger with nice stainless steel frames, very heavy duty. I know he recently pulled the mast, he actually painted it. Rewired the whole thing. Now let's go forward got solar vents, large hatches. Rigging's in good shape. Whisker pole tied to the stanchions there. All the lines look like they run to the cockpit, so that's really nice. Got two winches on the cabin top and two jib sheet winches that are huge. The wood was just refinished. You've got these Durades right there with the stainless steel bar over them. Another hatch. The deck is in really good shape. I know under here, there is a windlass down there. Roller furling head so. Let's go back. It's gonna be a slab reefed main. It does have lazy jacks. Cabin top traveler. Back into the cockpit. Let's take a look at the cockpit locker here. Big, big cockpit locker. And there's the CNG stuff right there. So this boat is a CNG boat, not a propane boat. Alrighty, let's go down below. So immediately when you walk in, you see this galley right here. It's kind of a semi nook galley. It's a really good size galley for this size boat. And it's in good shape. This is a really nice sink. And this counter is actually so big because the engine is underneath. But it gives you a lot of counter space. The engine is 
right here. We'll show you that at the end. That's a CNG stove. Got a refrigerator freezer right there. And then just aft of the galley and to the port side of the companion right stairs, you have the pretty big aft cabin. So this is an aft cockpit boat, but it has a pretty large aft cabin, double berth. And I believe this is possible because the engine is in the galley, it's forward a little more. The engine's not, you know, sitting right there. So that's why this aft cabin is possible in this size boat. It's really nice. It's a really good place. The wood's in great shape. It's got storage here and here. And then this aft cabin isn't even the best part. So remember, this is only a 38 foot boat. It's a 1980s boat. So boats of this size and this vintage typically only have maybe one head and it's usually a wet head. Maybe they'll have two, two wet heads and they look just like this. But what I love about this boat is if you look to the right, just aft, you have a large separate shower. And that's, that's pretty unheard of for a 38 foot boat from the eighties. So that's, that's really cool. All right, let's go forward. Again, most of the wood everywhere is in pretty good shape. The only place that I've seen a little bit of, you know, a little bit of damage is around the port lights in some areas. That's typical with a boat like this of this age. As long as these port lights aren't bedded with 5200 or anything like that, it's not too hard to replace this panel. And I would do like what we did with Freebie and put PVC along right there. But I mean, for now, that's not hurting anybody. That's not bothering anybody. It's totally fine. We got the tie rods for the chain plates right there. Then you have a large settee, main settee. It's kind of an odd shape, but it works. It works pretty well. You can sit a lot of people up here. We've actually had dinner with Drew and Avery at this table. Pretty nice salon. And this is really cool. And now the V berth of this boat's big. Again, the cabins are real nice. You've got big locker right here, hanging locker. More storage down here. You got this little dressing chair, I guess. I don't know. Kind of interesting. There are more lockers here. And then, you know, right now the V-Berth is kind of just storage, but it's a pretty big V-Berth. So going aft again, all the electronics, everything on this bow works now. After the lightning strike, Drew replaced everything that's broken. So it all works pretty good. Brand new 1500 watt inverter down here. All right, so lastly, let's take a look at this engine. There you have it. You have your Yanmar diesel. You have access from here. You have access from behind as well. There's access down here. So really and truly, you can open up all the panels around the engine. I believe you can open up the front one. You can open up the front one too as well, I think. And service your engine. Like right, at, you know, it's right in the middle of your, right in the middle of your salon. So it's pretty interesting. Alrighty, so let's close out this boat tour. So this boat has a little bit of an interesting story. It was struck by lightning and that's when Drew and Avery were actually interested in purchasing it. So it was struck prior to them buying it. And they knew it had, bad electronics because of the lightning strike. There was no other damage other than the electronics basically being fried. So the boat needed to be rewired and it needed to have new electronics put in. They were fine with that. Now the interesting part is while the boat was under contract with Drew and Avery, it was struck again. So it was actually struck twice. It was struck before they were interested in buying it and it was struck while they were buying it. And they ended up negotiating a lower price because it was struck literally while they were in the process of purchasing it. Since then, they've completely rewired the boat. It's got all new electronics and there's no damage from the lightning. Now the Ericsson 38200, although it is a fin keel and spade rudder, it has a proven history of offshore passage making. I can think of two YouTube channels that actually have a similar boat. Christian Williams has an Ericsson 38 and Two Float Sailing has an Ericsson 38200. 
200, which is the exact boat that I toured today. Both those channels are serious sailing channels. They've made serious offshore passages in this boat. Now, Drew and Avery, who are the current owners that are selling, they got this boat, they did a bunch of work on her, they sailed her down to the Keys, and to be honest, they came from power boats and I think they wanna go back to a power boat. So that's the reason for them selling, but they're good friends and I'm kinda of doing this video as a favor to them. If you're interested in this boat, it is for sale. So the contact information for Drew and Avery is gonna be in the description below along with the current asking price. Now just real quick before I completely close out this video, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. The next video is gonna be a DIY video and the video after that is gonna be probably another boat tour and then the one right after that is gonna be about lithium batteries. So we've got a lot of varied content coming your way and I'm excited to put that stuff out there for you guys. And Randy will definitely be in some of those videos, so stay tuned. As always, guys, if you want to help us out, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell so you get notified every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire and let it go